Alright guys, this is William here, and I am back with some more scrolls after what seemed like some uh, server downtime there. But of course you guys won't know that because this will just be two separate videos. Alright, last time we looked at the Order Preconstructed deck, and I just want to try out the Order Preconstructed deck. So I'm not going to jump into a ranked match because I'm not highly rated, but anybody that I play is going to have a bunch of cards and have a more customized deck with an idea in mind, and I'm just going to get stomped. So we're just going to do a quick match, and we're going to use the order pre-constructed, and we're just going to go straight in and try it out and see what you guys think, see uh, what I think. Uh, we'll tr I'll try to play it to the best of my ability. Again, this is the first time that I have played the order deck at all, order of any kind at all, so I could fail absolutely terribly and shame the name of the order. So if I do that, I apologize immensely, but uh, I'm going to do everything I can to not be horrible. So let's go in here. Good luck, have fun, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go crazy with this one. So we did start off with a crossbow, and that's pretty awesome. Resonant helm, the obelisk, thought trap. Let's see. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the resonant helm, and we are going to drop a crossbowman, and see how they react to that. That is an awesome first drop. I know it can't attack for a few turns, but that's. It's a pretty heavy hitter out on turn one. I, I really enjoy that. But we'll see what else we get. I don't know the ratio of drawing cards to playing growth, or playing growth, to playing, you know, getting more order. Ooh, order mana. But let's see here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get rid of that for some mana. I don't like using walls, but I am going to go ahead and just toss one down. And I'll probably get some more cards next turn if I don't draw something I can play. Uh, because I'm just going to... I don't want just the Ducal Spearmen and this. Uh, which, it would work. I mean, don't get me wrong. It would work. Especially against a growth deck. Maybe I will do that. Uh, just to get some more order and really get my deck swinging. Let's see what we get here. Vengeance Veil. Oh, God, I don't know what any of these cards are. Uh, Chaining unit receives damage as countdown decreases by one. That's okay. That's not my favorite card. We're going to go ahead and we are going to get a couple of extra cards just because I would like them. All your units have their move increased uh, by one till end of turn. Okay. Totally fine with uh, getting rid of like almost all those cards. So I'm pretty happy with that. Chained units. Okay. Gets healed. Uh, countdown is doubled. I'm going to hang on to that one as long as possible because that's just a super annoying kind of card. And I'm very much looking forward to doing something with that. Um, I'm probably just going to pop up and hit his idol. I mean, I guess creature control would be prevalent, but he's really looking forward to me sniping off, uh, this person. Oh, crap. I didn't expect that. He's an order growth deck. Was not paying that much attention. That is suddenly a problem for me. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst problem in the world, but it's certainly not something I want to deal with. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get some more order going on here. Wow, did not expect that at all. I wish I could kill him. So much do I wish I could kill him. We're going to go ahead and take the Royal Infantryman and toss him down. And while we have the chance, let's go ahead and get some, uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, buff going on. Share him between my guys here. Too bad it's only creatures and not all units, because that would be amazing. Alright, what do we got here? Draws one structure from your library. Oh, I was so excited to play a growth deck, too. Oh my gosh, just a hardcore growth deck? Oh, so much was I looking forward to that. Wow, this guy is, uh, this guy is more prepared than I am. Uh, so, I'm sitting here reading my cards, trying to figure out what to do, and this person has a two-color deck. Um, all of the creatures you control in the same row is Ducal Infantrymen, gain plus one attack, that's not bad. So how do I... I'm trying to decide how I really want to do this. I do really want to get my spiky unit out, but I also don't want them to die immediately. I could double his countdown, uh, so this would basically become useless for the time being, which would be super awesome. You know what? You know what? We're gonna do that. We're going to uh, we're gonna thought trap this and go ahead and drop down uh, my ducal infantryman. He's got enough armor that I'm not too worried about him getting killed right away. 
so we'll we'll see how that goes. But uh, that is an awesome spell, being able to double someone's countdown. I wish I would have done that before, so it was like six. That would have been ridiculous. That would have just been a wasted card. Um, and then we got the Spearman. We'll see what he puts out next, and I'll decide what I'm going to put down. Ooh, Ranger's Bane. Nice. But at least he had the extra health, so he is going to still get a chance to attack. Ooh, Waking Stones. That could be interesting. I could have a very strong wall going right here, but I would really have nothing to back it up with. Like, no strong creatures or anything to really provide some good support. Unfortunately, unless he plays something, which he probably will, he's going to lose his archer. Let's go ahead and we're going to, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and drop the spearman. We're going to get two more cards. As much as I want to keep those waking stones, and I really probably should have, someone might be yelling at me right now, but I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So, you know, cut me some slack. Awesome. Well, the power bound actually might be great to put on this person because they're going to die. So I can get some extra order out of that, which would be very, very nice. Especially if I discard something for order next turn, I would basically be done with having to get... Oh, you dick. Well, there goes my crossbowman. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go ahead... And we're going to, we're going to hang on to the wall for the time being. I think I'm going to grab one more order, and then I'm going to start just pumping out creatures, because I'm not really worried about his creature control, because I pretty much am controlling the board at this point. So that's, that's not something that's, uh, you know, stressing me out or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and do that, and I kind of want to drop another Spearman, but I don't know where I should drop another Spearman. So... very difficult for me well let's go ahead and just try to dominate the middle three lanes and we'll see how that actually works out for me all right well that's awesome killing off my uh killing that person off which i don't know how i did that i actually wasn't paying that much attention so i don't know why that uh why that died, but, uh, you know, whatever, that's cool. I mean, it's dead, so I'm pretty happy. Unless he attacked last turn, which I don't know if he did or not. No, he didn't. Okay, they're getting rid of some of my stuff with these frost scales, but that's not something I'm worried about. Remove all enchantments. That could be super useful. I'm not worried about controlling the board, so I don't need the obelisk. Or, I'm not worried about defense. Another spearman. How many of these things can I get? It's it's really a mystery to me. We're actually just going to go ahead and talk, toss it up here. We're going to control all these lanes as well as we possibly can. Then we're going to keep the purification in case I need to remove enchantments from something. Ugh, remove enchantments from something. But we're going to get some damage going all around. And it's going to be hard for him to just lay down a, you know, an attacking unit because even if it does hit, it is going to take some damage for it. So that's that's pretty nice. And I can Thought Trap anything that comes out, so it's not going to be active for a decent amount of time, giving me a chance to kill it. How good of a position I'm actually in? I don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. The Great Wolf. See, and that's something that I desperately want to use my Thought Trap on. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of this for two more cards. Call back. Target unit uh, you control is returned to your hand. Okay, I actually could use that right now to heal up one of my spearmen. Horn of Ages. All units opponent controls have their move decreased by one until end of opponent's turn. Not that useful. So we are actually going to call... I think I'm going to call this spearman back. I think I might leave him out until next turn and then call him back after he... Had, no, because that would be two turns. I might as well call him back and take advantage of him while I can. Or I could get the infantrymen back, which actually may be the better option. I could do that next turn. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and Thought Trap this to be annoying. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and let this turn play out. Do a little bit of damage to it. See what happens. We'll see how this goes. I'm not feeling super unconfident at the moment, but... I'm not feeling super confident either. 
Alright, so we're getting a lot of spells and not a lot of creatures. I'm really wanting more creatures. Maybe I'm just used to uh, the growth deck where I get tons and tons of creatures. Um, countdown decreases by one. I don't care about that, like, even in the slightest. So, uh, with how many frost scales he's used, that might be useful, but I don't, I don't wonder how many more he actually has. Another uh, spiky unit. Okay, crown of strength. Now, I think I'm going to call him back to my hand. I wish he had Relentless. I want to save this Crown of Strength for something with Relentless or something that's really going to take advantage of it. Um, it's hard to say. I'm going to get to destroy that immediately, which is nice, and do some damage around. And I could get out the Royal Spearman, which, which would be a good thing to get out. So I do want this person back. So we're going to call this person back to my hand. We're going to drop down the Royal Spearman. And we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. I'm kind of hanging on to this purification because I know growth has a lot of buff spells, um, and so does order. So I want him to buff something and then to just immediately take those buffs away. That's that's really what I'm shooting for here. But I'm not doing much damage. I'm not doing much damage at all to these idols. Uh, I just do not have any damage cards out yet. I mean, I do have things that I could take this up to two damage, but you know how useful is that really gonna be? But at least right now he's gonna have a trouble attacking. Even increasing this uh, to where it is, he's going to take some serious damage by attacking me, which I'm totally fine with. Um, I could even put Crown of Strength on him, and he wouldn't even be able to break through. Oh, there we go. See? The Bear Paw. Now, I could remove that and then leave him with, uh, you know, all that extra stuff. Oh, I am so, so going to be getting rid of that. Oh, man. I'm actually going to wait until next turn, although he could... He could rally and do some good damage. So what do I want to do? I'm actually getting some units now. I have a Relentless unit. And if I put this in a lane with the Ducal Infantrymen, I think I'm going to be in a pretty pretty good spot with that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to move him over here for now. And I could drop both of these, but I really want to make sure I get rid of that buff. I can get rid of that buff and drop my Relentless unit so it can be m more prepared to attack once I drop my Ducal Infantrymen. And then I can crown a Strength it before it does attack and do some serious damage to this row. And he'll have trouble getting to my unit, at least through the wall for a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and remove all these enchantments because I'm a jerk. And then we're going to drop my Relentless unit. <laughs> I was calling myself that. Um, and we're going to get rid of the Horn of Ages for some more cards, because that's awesome. We could increase the health of this entire row and then just make this kind of a defensive row, which I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do. And then that, that'll be a really good defensive position where they have to go through two spiky units with a decent amount of health. And I just ran out of time, but that's fine. I don't really have anything else to do. So... I'm feeling okay. Oh, didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. That may not be good for me. Hmm. I'm not I'm not digging this position so much anymore. We're going to move you over here to help provide some defense cuz now he can't attack this unit because he will lose his wolf. And uh, honestly, Okembe unit to enchanted unit is decreased by 1. That's okay. I kind of want to throw the Crown of Strength on him now so he's a better defensive wall, but I really should put it on this guy. But he can't attack yet. So... It's it's a very tough position to decide what I want to do. We are going to drop the Infantrymen to increase the attack, even though I really just don't need to do that. Then we are going to... I really want to crown a strength something because I don't want to lose this relentless guy. So much do I not want to lose him. But no matter what I do, if this wolf attacks, this wolf, if it doesn't die from the spiky, will kill this guy. So it would just be a waste of my crown of strength. I could move it out of the way but and actually take advantage of my the enemy units can't move spell, but I kind of got rid of that. So, um, I mean, I guess... I, no, I don't have enough mana. Um... Well, we're going to drop the Sinmark Zealot up here. And we're going to hang on to this stuff in case I really, really, really need it. So we're just going to keep doing some damage around. 
He did drop down to three damage, which he can still kill both of these units. I actually probably should have thrown Crown of Strength on there because I didn't realize how low his damage would go. I wasn't really thinking that through. Oh, he's actually going to wipe the board except for one unit. Very interesting. All right, well, let's see what I draw then. Oh, yeah. Well, I am totally fine with this then. All right, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to drop this dude down. And that's that's a pretty strong unit, and I can buff the living crap out of him just to be annoying. I'm really tempted to discard these for some extra cards, but I want to buff the crap out of this thing and just be just be all around as annoying as I possibly can be. You know, making him a five uh, five six would be pretty awesome, especially a five six that all damage is reduced to one. Well, combat damage anyway. That could be incredibly useful. We'll see what he does. I'm going to react to what he decides to do. Okay, a 3-4. Kabonk deals a damage. I could just do that. Uh, I can't actually kill this, but I could get close. Uh, I kind of just want to Kabonk it. Let's just Kabonk it. Let's, let's just do that. Okay, target unit gets plus 3 attack until end of turn. Oh, this is my glorious day, apparently. So I can go ahead and uh, kill him off. And then I can save my uh, save my buffs. Although, in case he does try to snipe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Just to be extra annoying. Oh, yes. I really should be drawing more cards and probably getting a little bit more order, but I'm really ma worried about maintaining my control of the battlefield at the current moment in time. Sorry, I took a drink there if anyone heard that. All right. So he is up to seven, so he can play some strong stuff, and he can actually buff the crap out of this thing and kill my unit. Uh, He's not going to kill it. Unless that does damage. No, he's actually not going to kill my unit. Which is a nice thing for me. So I could frost win him back. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I actually want to... Uh, I really got to get some extra cards. I, I might just give up the crown of strength here to get the extra cards. But I could really use it to wipe him out. We're going to... We're going to give up the frost wind. All right, when enchanted unit you control is destroyed, increase your order. That could be good. The crossbowman's good. We're going to move him forward, move him forward. We're going to drop the crossbowman in the back. And um, I'm actually going to toss this here on him. I have a feeling that he's going to try to kill him this turn, uh, which if he does, I would like to get something out of it. So at least I can get some order out of it. He has so much more uh, just overall mana than me that I'm not I'm not feeling comfortable with my position. Even though I do have the creature lead, I'm not in a position to really do a ton of damage. Like right now, he's going to oh, kill my, my main damage dealer there. Okay, I could Kabonk, which isn't going to do crap for me. No one's going to be attacking. He's going to be attacking next turn. So let's just get rid of the Crown of Strength. Two Kabonks! Awesome. And a Royal Skirmisher. Okay, so we're going to move you forward. We're going to drop the Royal Skirmisher in the back. And uh, then, I guess I could Kabonk this guy to take his health down. Or I could just get him closer to death. So let's just Kabonk him. Blessing of Haste. Target unit's cooldown is reduced by one. I could make a big attack next turn. And try to at least kill off one of his units. Which is probably what I'm going to have to do. Because uh, even reducing this guy's cooldown is going to do crap for me. So uh, Maybe I'll get lucky and get just the right cards to be able to really lay into him next turn. I'm not really counting on it, but it's, it's okay for me to dream. If I got another Blessing of Haste, which I actually think there's only one in the entire deck. If I got another one, I could actually use it on both of these guys. And that would put me in a good position. And he drops a Memorial. And then kills my 1-1. One, one. I might have to abandon this lane. And he Rangers Banes, my dude. This, uh, not, not the best position. He's actually in a very commanding position right now. How I can come back from this, 
I don't I don't actually have any idea. I could call back my archer and get him back. But I'm in such a terrible position at the moment that it's It's hard to figure out what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's go ahead and just let's just ditch Let's ditch the callback. We're just going to sacrifice my, my archer here. Uh, Enchanted unit's health is healed by one every time you play a spell or enchantment. I actually could, you know, heal him and save him for now. Uh, the plate armor is nice, but they're doing so much damage that it's really just not going to matter. Um, I might just save him just to save him. Uh, so that way he does actually get to attack next turn. So we're going to do that. We're going to use that on him. We're going to drop my enchanted armor on him. Then we are going to kabonk. And I think I'm going to... Should I attack? And do... Yeah, I'm going to attack. There we go. I at least got rid of one of the multiple threats on the board. And my archer's going to get the a chance to attack. And he can't dodge it. However, if he has God's Hand or a million other spells, he's going to just absolutely wreck me. Uh, if he doesn't, I can return this to his hand. But that's not the best idea, considering he can just play it back with haste. So that's actually a really great unit to use the, uh, the Dryadic Power on. I actually should just abandon this lane. I don't know why I'm still here. This is actually really stupid. If he doesn't attack me, I am just going to straight up abandon this lane. Yeah, this lane is this lane is boned. I'm out of here. I'm going to save my one measly unit that I still manage to have and try to make us uh, make an escape. So let's uh let's head up here. We are going to I kind of want to just get rid of the great wolf, but it's only going to hit for 3, so I'm not actually that worried about that. Actually, I mean, I could drop this right in front of it. It would sacrifice it for some damage. So maybe that's not the best idea. Let's go ahead and do that. I really want to keep this pushback in case I need it. But there's nothing so powerful that I can't deal with. But, oh, screw it. We're just going to risk it and we're going to go for it. All right. We're going to drop the Sinmark Zealot. And we're going to go from there. See what happens. I really got to start getting some more creatures out. I need to get a good line going. I need to get some of my more buffier creatures that uh, really have some good, some good abilities. God, he has so many cards. I am not feeling in the slightest bit confident of my game at the moment. I'm trying to think of what I could possibly do that would pay off. Honestly, I probably should have moved him up here. And if he killed it, it would have dropped him down two. I could have left him with one health. But we're abandoning this lane. This lane's just... It's, it's bound. The Royal Vanguard. Countdown becomes zero. Adjacent units gain plus two attack. That is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and ditch this for two more cards. And an Honorable General. That's amazing. So we actually should move up. Because I could totally kill his wolf. So we're going to move up. Move up move up and we're going to just drop the honorable general uh, just uh you know make him desire to kill it because if he does i get to kill his wolf um and i would rather have the royal vanguard i think than the honorable general but we'll see we'll see what ends up happening even god's hand wouldn't kill this he'd actually have to use a few different buff cards but the focus spell will let me kill his wolf off which means that he's actually only going to have one unit on the board that can only attack in one lane. Uh, it's hard for me to let a lane go. I get this kind of tunnel vision that I think a lot of people get where it's like I need to protect this one location at all costs no matter what. Well, that does suck because that is going to prevent me from doing what I wanted to do. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. But If he kills my Honorable General. Yep, he's going to kill my Honorable General. Okay, well is what it is he has he has a lot of uh a lot of resources to do this with so maybe i should not have put my honorable general where i did but otherwise i would have lost like all my creatures so move target opponent unit to an unoccupied space on opponent's board okay 
Actually, this could work. I can move this wolf over and go ahead and kill this uh, with focus, and then I can drop my Royal Vanguard next turn. I won't be able to get any extra cards this turn, but uh, this will give me a bit of an advantage, and I can sacrifice this to kill off the Vader. So we're going to go ahead and do a sacrifice attack. We're going to kill that. We're going to move up. We're going to move up. We're going to flip this over to here. Maybe I should move it just all the way across the board. We're going to move him over here. And we're going to buff him. And we're going to attack. Kill his wolf. Alright, I'm not feeling too bad. He basically only has one unit that can move around on the board and some walls. I'm not feeling great, but I'm not feeling bad. We'll see what I draw next. Now that I don't have any spiky units, I could really use some spiky units. It's, it's kind of depressing. Another Vader of the Wild, just a bunch more growth for him. I'm running on fumes over here. He's going to kill my spiky dude, then I'm going to kill his dude. The back and forth, the back and forth. I could crown of strength my relentless guy, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, for now, we're going to drop this dude down. I need extra cards. We're going to go ahead and drop down another Sinmark Zealot. We'll use that how we need to. Kill his unit off. Go ahead and do a little bit of damage. Hmm. The real question is, is he going to abandon the top lane in order to try to kill the bottom three lanes? He's in a position where he can kill the bottom two. If I can block, if I can get enough stuff going up top, if he just says screw the top, and I can get a good enough amount of stuff up there, I can, I can really handle what he throws at me. But uh, if not, it could really cause me some issues. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. So it does seem he has plans for his Kenfolk Jarl. I gotta guess something like God Hand or something like that is going to come into play. So let's go ahead and discard this for more cards. I can double his countdown where God Hand or his other things actually wouldn't do crap. So we're actually going to do that. We're going to drop down my Spearman. And we are going to stay in this position for the time being. Next turn, I'm going to kill this off if he doesn't move it back over in this direction. Actually, maybe I should just move him over and then just attempt to kill him off anyway. Next turn, no matter where he goes. We're going to do that. Play my Honorable General soon. We at least have a Spiky 2 unit, which is, which is a nice thing. Getting more cards for himself. With that amazing amount of resources he has there. He did some really great board control. I mean, at first, like, I was in a very commanding lead with a lot of creatures out. Nothing powerful, unfortunately, which held me back a bit. But did a really good job just clearing the board with Quake and Frost Gales, even when he didn't really have anything. And then just pretty much living behind walls until he had so much mana that it's actually becoming difficult to fight him. I don't know why he's doing this, because I'm going to be able to kill his stuff next turn anyway. Even with that, I'm willing to sacrifice something to, to kill it, so I don't really care. Uh, honestly, if I could buff him up to the point where he would be the one to completely kill this dude, that would be the greatest thing in the world for me, but it seems unlikely. So how do I want to play this? Well, let's see what cards I get next turn. Enchanting unit's health is healed by one every time you play a spell or enchantment. That may not be bad if something gets poisoned, but I, I need something I need something better. Alright, I can purify him and then kill him. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Oh, wow, he got five attack. So wait, one, two, and hit him for three sacrifice him no matter what I am in fact going to have to hit him with something actually hold on uh, he's gonna hit him for okay one two hit him for three if I move him out of the way and then let my zealot hit him for three that would actually be a way better deal for me and I could manage to keep my uh, my beefy dude alive 
And, in fact, could keep my Zealot alive by removing removing his ability. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're actually just going to remove his ability. We're just going to we're just going to outright just just attack the crap out of him and in this row and just wipe this row out. Actually, hold on. We're going to move him up here. We're going to wipe this side of the board entirely. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's some good play right there. Even at less than half the mana of him. I'm at least holding these top two lanes, which is uh, something that I didn't expect. Summons, yeah, that's, that's actually really great for getting more, you know, stuff out, which is really awesome for him. I'm actually going to take note of this deck because um, I've been reading up on a lot of strategy, so I can... Um, I mean, once I get more familiar with it, I can bring you guys some in-depth things on, like, different decks that you can build and stuff like that is what I'm planning for the future. So, I could do something, uh, where I could really take advantage of all this new information I've been getting. But, let's go ahead and pop him back. We're gonna pop him back. We're actually gonna block this front. Um, I actually should have moved him over. But the Honorable General actually being in the middle of all the units may be the better choice here. So, we can drop the Spearman. I could actually get some extra order. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to play anything else anyway. So, let's do that. Let's get some extra order. The more order, the better. And then we'll see what we can manage here. Because he's actually at the point where he has so much stuff that he's... I don't, he's going to run out of cards. And he's only going to be playing two cards every turn. So, if I can get to the point where I can play whatever two cards I want... I'll be in a good spot, but um, I gotta I gotta be careful. Maybe I should have tossed down the honorable general, but uh, he actually would have killed my killed my relentless dude, which would have been annoying. He actually could have killed my relentless dude. Uh, we may actually have to move everyone down and start attacking this middle row next turn. So that might be a thing. So we're we're gonna have to take out and protect this middle row. It's it's becoming very apparent that I need to do this. So we're going to plunk him down here, and then we can put the Honorable General, like, right in the middle of everything next turn. Uh, I know I keep putting it off, and I really shouldn't because of the way his ability works. Uh, but at least this way, I'm going to kill his stuff and hit his idol. And get some, you know, keep my board control, which is really what I'm trying to do here. Because, again, he can take out the bottom one as long as I can protect these top three and actually get a really strong defensive wall going up here where he's going to have trouble just straight up attacking into my stuff. Because there's no relentless haste units, thank God, because that would just destroy me. Hmm. I feel like this guy actually should not be in this position. That does suck a little bit. But it's totally fine. Everyone still has enough health at the moment that I'm, I'm okay with it. Crossbowman, unless he... He's not going to be able to haste. Well, actually, yeah, he could. But he wouldn't be actually be able to do it to the point where he could hit me. Unless he actually has the haste spell from the order deck. Uh, which would seem like a giant waste. So... Uh, target unit you control is returned to your hand. I was, I'm going to save that for in case he's about to kill something that's very, very important to me. Uh, for the time being, I kind of want to move this over. Yeah, I'm going to move him over because uh, his ability is going to be the first one to activate. We're going to toss my general up here in the corner. We're going to get some extra cards. Uh, the waking stones. Now that's awesome. I can move these guys back, toss the stones down. have a really good defensive wall right here. Um, especially if I can manage to take out one of these idols, I think I might save it. So wherever I do take out an idol, uh, is going to be the position that I'm going to use to, um, is going to be the position I use with the waking stones. And then I'm going to keep something like spiky there or something like that. So it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for him. As difficult as I can possibly make it, it is really what I'm shooting for here. This is a long game, round 26, it's quite a bit. Ranger's Bane. Oh, and Kabonk. Oh, and he takes it out. Good for him. That was nicely played. Um, he's still going to lose this. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not horribly impressed. 
Uh, enchanting unit's health is healed by one every time uh, you cast a spell. I don't really need that at the moment. Let's ditch it. Uh, Horn of Ages, all units opponents control have their move decreased by one until end of opponent's turn. That I'm going to hang on to that for now. Target opponent's unit is returned to its owner's hand. I'm going to hang on to that because that could be super, super, super useful. Uh, all other creatures you control in the same row gain plus one attack. Okay, so I'm actually going to hit and destroy this row. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna destroy this row. Uh, possibly. Then we are going to we're gonna drop the infantry. I apologize if you guys can hear my cat meowing. He's kind of annoying. Um, we're gonna drop this down here. We're gonna drop the stone right here. Um, even though I said I wouldn't use it right where I did, I did use it right where I did, so y whatever. It is what it is. Um, I, sh I could have waited, and I probably should have waited, but I don't want to give up the control of this lane. Um, and then being able to just... If I can get a Relentless unit and toss him here, I'll be in a really good position. Uh, but he's not going to be able to move stuff up from the bottom, and I want to make sure that he can't... He's not going to be able to drop anything in and really do much. That does suck. That does suck pretty bad. Uh, not what I wanted. But we'll see we'll see what he actually can can pull out here. We'll see what I can pull out here, actually, is probably the better thing. We're just gonna drop this for now. I could return something to my hand, like my my bigger guy, and replay him, which may be a good idea after the next turn. Um, and I can actually toss down another wall. So we're going to actually pull him back. We're going to move him up. And we're going to drop a wall here just to protect this. We are going to use the Sinmark Zealot to top it, toss him back here. And then I'm going to hang on to pushback. Uh, this is just going to be my little defensive area. That way for him to... Yes, yes, Twitch, I know. I know. you are got to stay down here until I'm done recording my video, though. Okay. This has been a long, drawn-out, crazy game. <laughs> Please, no... We'll see what I can get next turn. I could potentially end this next turn if I got the right stuff. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. If I can get the right stuff, I can end it. He's going to destroy my wall. I don't care about that. Let's see here. Rallying. Oh, he's actually going to attack. Uh, as long as he can't buff this dude, I'm totally fine here. As long as I don't lose my general, which is becoming incredibly important. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. I need to hit this for... Yeah, this is over. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to sacrifice. Destroy that. We're going to push this back to his hand. We're going to take this and, <laughs> oh, oh, GG, fun game, and we're going to get the extra cards, and we're going to go ahead and end this game right here. Woo! The pre-constructed deck, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, well, he left the game. All right, 407 total gold. That is impressive. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me. The Order Preconstructed deck is pretty awesome. I got to say, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, so next up is going to be energy, uh, then an energy game, and then um, some other stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything that I can prove on or anything you want to see about the Scrolls game, um, if you want to see, like, some uh, decks that other people have made, I could display them on here uh, or go over them as best as I possibly can. Um, yeah, and all that. So thank you guys very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you guys next time.